everybody this video is created by WebSoft Creation in this video in this video I demonstrate that how we can use a method in grid view control or you can say that how to bind a met method in grid view control it's a very useful example if you go through it then definitely you will get, get beneficial so let's see that how I can do this first of all I have created a table that is my EMP table in EMP employee database. In this table, I have created some fields like ID, name, app name, salary, and activate. So there are some null data also here. If you remove this data, then it means that it will come in null data category. So how I can bind this data and how to implement this? Let's see. First of all, I have to make a connection with with the database. To make connection, I will use some namespaces that is using system dot data dot SQL client and using system dot data and using system dot configuration by using this con configuration namespace you can call the configuration file that is web dot config file I have created a connection with my database, employee database. So I told you already in my previous videos that how to create the connection in web.config file. Here I am using that web.config file connection. If you want to see, then you can see here. I have created a connection with the name of connect. In this connection, I make connection string with the employee table. So this connection string will retrieve the data from employee table. Let's see that how I can call the connection. Uh, to make a connection, we can we have to use SQL connection class. In this SQL connection class, you will call configuration manager. Right? Then configuration manager. After that, you have to call connection string. This is a collection, and uh, I made a single connection string. So I have to call the name of web.config file connection right so still I have created my connection now I will get the data from the database how I can do this first of all I have to use is post back then I am implementing this function fill grid view in this fill grid view function I will write some code fill grid view okay it is a SQL query that it select a stick from a stick from EMP this is my table name now I will use the SQL data adapter to give an interface with the SQL server I can use as and con I can use here data table or data set but uh, there is no need to take data set because we take data set whenever we required more than one table data but here I am using a single table data so there is no need to take database data set okay so to bind this data with the grid view control I have to use a single grid view control by in design view I take the grid view control from data tab uh, grid view right so by using dot of format I can change the format whatever you like I use this format right so in this grid view control I will bind some data I will create a template added template uh, sorry added columns in this edit column I will create a template field the template field name is image this is the header text and uh, or you can say uh, social account social account in this social account I want to change uh, some styles over here like just like I want that it 
this field should be background a light background color that should be yellow color yellowish if you want to set the border style you can do it easily it should be in dotted solid any anything four color there is no need to write a four color you can set the width that it should be 30 px only right so now i can use bound field like name uh, I want to show you something over here that uh, as I told you that in some rows I don't have name so here should display some data like uh, not available you can use a null so we have a property that is null display text and you can write here an oblique a not available right and data field you can write just name whatever data field you required now another thing is father's name this is the header and this header I will use the same concept that is null available not father name and a and I want to hold this data so by using the item style you can do it very easily just change your background color here I am using this background or this background right so change the font color I will use light gray color this is my font color after that um, salary add salary so I show this data in this format in social account I will some I will get some images in name I will use this father name and and so on so we have some columns column 0 column 1 and column 2 you can eliminate them from here by using the auto generate columns property false so we have property auto generate columns I will make it false so we have this column so in this column I want to show some social account images to do it you have to go in your inline code in this inline code you can add some item template just like okay so I can take here uh, HTML control mm, image control right so you can change the width and height of this control just like 20px width should be here and 20px should be height so as you know that uh, if you are using the image control then you have to show the you have to set the source of this control or you can use alt alt is used when whenever you are not uh, getting the image so alt data will be display so no image found this is my data and you are using source so get the source data you can write some code over here like I am getting or I will call a function at this place so how I can do this uh, to write a C sharp code you can use hash percentage and this is a delimiter sign and I will write my custom function in this custom function I will send some data container dot data item right so this function will be called by the image control so you have to write the definition of that function over here public string and function name get image so get a argument value you can use object and I am using here data item so I want to write some code over here I want to set the image by using the salary like uh, if I I want that uh, 
those persons um, uh, data or social account sh should display twitter whose who whose uh, salary is less than 11 rupees right so how i can do this first of all i have to get the salary of each item i can use here double d and double I have to change by the parse method double dot parse then grid view 1 so there is no need to write the grid view 1 data you just write data binder data binder provide a class and eval function in this eval function I will write this data and field name with field you are required so I have created a salary field in my database table so I have to write salary dot to string it should convert into string so I can write a condition over here if D is greater than 11.00 this is my double value then it should return Twitter. Twitter is what this is my image I have added two images uh, LinkedIn and Twitter so I am writing this image copying and double course I will put this here and in else condition I will write return and I will set another image that is Twitter image right so now okay so my code is completed now uh, let me show the result you will click view in browser it's taking too much time because it's executing for at first time what's happen okay I didn't bind my data table with my grid view control so to do this I have to set the data source control it should be DT and uh, to show the data of grid view control we have to use data bind method right now I can see the result so finally we have result we don't have father's name and salary do you know why because I didn't bind it with the database um, I have to go in edit templates sorry I have to go in edit columns in this column we will fetch Okay, so I have didn't write the F name and uh, in salary field you will bind your salary field, right? So now you can see the output. So you have seen that uh, in in which regard we don't have the name or father name we have not available and a function and uh, as I told you in my this uh, function I write the code that uh, uh, the Twitter image should be displayed in those uh, employees data where salary is lo less than 11 rupees so that's why uh, the this person salary is uh, 10 rupees that's why it's uh, uh, less than 11 so it's showing Twitter image so you have seen that how to use the method uh, in grid view control you can do this or you can use it in many uh, examples if you are working on a live project and definitely you will use it thank you for watching this video this video is created by website creation website